I am just now getting out of the theater watching Ant-Man Quantumania. Saw it in IMAX. One of the first people to see it where I live. Not the first people to see the movie in general, but the first people seeing it where I live here in our Birmingham. So, what do I think about this movie? This will be no spoilers, by the way. No spoilers. Um, here's what you need to know. This movie is about two hours and five minutes long. There are two post-credit scenes. So you'll want to stay to the very end. Um, the movie itself, I believe, was a good movie. I know there's a lot of people that think the movie is bad. I don't think it's necessarily a bad movie. I really don't think it's bad. Um, I can tell that they really were going for a big spectacle with this movie. The acting was really good by Jonathan Majors, who plays Kang. Of course, Paul Rudd, who plays Ant-Man. Uh, Michael Douglas, of course, he did his part. Um, Michelle Pfeiffer, you know, everybody did well in terms of the acting in this movie. It is a big spectacle, though. There's a big spectacle. It's a lot of lighthearted humor as well. Um, you know, my first initial thought was that maybe this entire movie was going to be more of a serious tone and it wasn't really the whole movie was serious don't get me wrong there were some serious moments but you know if you've seen any of the ant-man movies this is you know pretty much like a lot of the other ant-man movies in terms of how lighthearted they are mixed in with humor and stuff like that so um i thought it was a pretty good movie now i will say this and this is not a spoiler uh if you've seen the trailers I don't know how I feel about Modoc. I don't know. It's something about that that's bothering me. In terms of the way... I don't know. It's something, maybe it's the way how he looks. I just think it's a little off. Something's wrong there. And I don't know. I feel like... I feel like they could have done a little bit better job on that. But I mean, he kind of looks like he does. How he looks in the comics and how he looks in video games. I mean... He has the basic look, but I don't know. It's just something about it that just didn't really sit well to me. I don't know if it was where he was trying to be funny or was he a punchline? I don't know. It was just something about the Modoc character um, that was just off to me. Didn't really care for that part. Does have a really nice climactic ending, though. Really nice climactic ending. Not going to give away any spoilers, but... It was good. The, the ending part, you know, the final battle, I like that. That was good. That part, when I saw that, it actually made me smile. So I thought that was good. I thought the movie as a whole was okay, but I just could have done... I kind of wish they would have just kind of left MODOK out of it, you know? If you ask me what was the weakest part about this movie, I would say it was MODOK. I don't feel like they could have... They re He really didn't have to be in there. But I can see why they wanted to put him in there, though. I'm not going to give anything away because if I do, it might be a spoiler, so I'm going to leave it at that. But overall, I would say, you know, if you love Marvel, if you love Ant-Man, uh, you got to see this movie. And if you go to AMC, make sure you get that Ant-Man popcorn container. One thing that I do like is that you really get a sense that this movie is setting up events that will be coming in the future. You know, you really get that feeling, especially towards the end. Um, so I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I think that um, I will likely add this to my collection when it comes out. But um, it was good. Like I said, Jonathan Majors, man, he did good. I asked myself, who do I like better as a villain after seeing this movie between Thanos and Kang the Conqueror? I think Jonathan Majors did a really, really good job. I'm still biased towards Thanos, so I still think Thanos to me, what Josh Brolin did from an acting performance, I still think it was just a little, it was better to me overall. But don't get me wrong, Jonathan Majors, he did good. Now, I ain't taking nothing away from him. I'm just talking about, you know, best MCU villains after seeing this movie. So anyway, I'm gonna end this video. Um, normally I ask you guys to subscribe right at the beginning, but hey, you've seen my channel, so feel free to like and subscribe on the way out after watching this video. And if you can see this video, man, you're truly blessed. And as always, what are you going to do in your downtime? Peace.